In this episode, we lose a kayak in gale force winds. The mainsail falls apart. This is the car here. It's nice to sit up there. And we start to sink. There's water in the boat. We're sinking. Afternoon of the first day. Whangarei heads in the distance there. And uh, we've been ticking along at between 8 and 12. We got to 13 and a half knots at one point. That was pretty cool. That's almost a record actually. Our forecast is looking pretty good for the next few days. Um, might have a bit of, of a wind swing. Meanwhile, Josh is uh, looking very comfortable and the boys are playing Fortnite. Can you believe it? Yeah. Mike's playing with his phone. No, I'm telling my brother what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm know, I'm sailing away. Oh, sailing. From all the work and the uh, time and the wake That's all good. I'm not playing Fortnite. <sighs> So Rachel is in the recovery position and that is the obligatory bottom shot. <laughs> uh, very good. And we're whistling along quite nicely. Oh, it's pretty slow actually from the average we're doing. We're getting past the Poor Nights Island soon. Ivan is dancing up the storm. <laughs> Morning of the second day. It's leaving Whangarei. We've kept the uh, two reefs in the mainsail. Overnight we actually pulled in the entire Genoa. We had no Genoa foresail up at all. We had quite a breeze but I've got the full Genoa out again now. The wind has abated somewhat. The first couple of days at sea are usually spent fighting nausea and on this trip sleeping arrangements. Don't you? I feel like if I get up, I'm gonna vomit. Did you vomit last night? Yeah. Rachel did. That's and nice. You know, you know when you're gonna vomit. Yeah, so I got I, myself I, out. I, I remember hearing you last night. And I got myself out the door, but I couldn't find a bucket. And the only bucket I could find was that black one, which had uh, the dinghy's um, anchor in it. So I was <laughs> feverishly pulling that out and the anchor chain and. I didn't want to vomit on any of that and it had a lot it has got lots of water at the bottom which was nice because then it was it was a lot of dry retching first and then more like bile because I had nothing in my stomach. Yeah, hey, yeah true story! <laughs> Living the dream. Yeah. Living the dream. Yeah. Land out. Poor old Declan. The wind has dropped. Shake out the reef. Shaking out a reef. Word from our sponsor. No. Oh. It's just one word. Well, here we are. Hard at work. Yeah. We're in recovery mode from our recovery. Something about the ocean here looks like it's moving in slow motion. Not sure why. Top of the plays on. But a chicken surprise. Sorry about the rice. The surprise is there wasn't any surprise. Mm. It's exactly how we expected it to be. Yes. <laughs> Very good meal. Our first meal, well. end of day two. Well, first meal all together. Yeah, yeah, without together. Bodies without. Everywhere. We have no mainsail. One of the battens came free from its fitting and the batten was hanging out. We had to drop the mainsail so we've been, we've been sailing very well on just El Genoa for the last 
today. While it's been windy, we couldn't go out and mend it, but because the wind's dropped off, we can have a go at mending our sail. This is the car here. So all we can use, we're just checking that we can use the third reef. And that's the third reefing point there, so at least we will have a little bit of main. Push the bit that way. So I'm going to get this in here. Take it and push it. Try and hold it there. Okay. It's our first time. Yeah. Gym goes. We're taking on water. What? We're taking on water. We're taking on water where? In the engine. Really? Really. In a bad way? In a way Rob thinks he can probably fix. So we had a cell drive uh, seals replaced. Well I was just going to go and check there's no water in the oil of the cell drive. I open the engine room up and have a look at what's down in here. There's a whole lot of water in there and it's up to the bottom of the bilge pump. So either that water stopped going in or the water bilge pump has been going on and off and just held the water level there. There's water in the boat. We're sinking. I'm going to inspect what's going on down there. So there's a leak just there, you'll see the red drops. So it's leaking this, this hose here. Leaking. But that's not the problem. I said before, I hope it's not the water pump. Well, I think it is the water pump. Because I've just I've tied up all the hoses and I put my hand further up the pipe under the water pump and blow me dust. Is, there it is. There's uh, definitely something coming out. I don't know what that means. Well, I know it means there's a leak in the water pump. There's a leak in our boat, that's what it means. And we've got to fix it. Um, but how we fix it, I'm not sure. So what I might do is ring um, uh, Ray Roberts Marine and see what they think and um, whether, because it could be we could just run it, you know, just run it to we get to Fiji and then get it looked at there. And, which I'm thinking probably will be the case. Should be okay. And every now and then the bilge pump kicks in and throws a bit of water out if it needs to. And um, go from there. But I'll just get their advice first. That's my thinking. What's your, what do you reckon, Josh? That sounds like a sound plan, Rob. Well, I've got a reinforcement there, so that's me. That's locked in, locked and loaded. Two questions. Uh, could that be just a simple remedy with the seals or what have you? And secondly, do you think it'll be okay to run the engine? Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Thanks, mate. I'll keep in touch. There's a problem. Got three reefs in the main. In a relatively small genoa. Got developing little head seas out of the northwest. As we headed into gale force winds, Rob secured the wind generators. Unfortunately, not everything was secured so well. It's a bit of fun, isn't it? Yeah. What are you saying? What are you saying there?
sure of it will pick it up, but... Oh, I just got soaked. As the storm raged outside, the band played on. So, for the first time, <laughs> Rob Hamill dons the life jacket. And, because uh, this is serious stuff actually, you've got a safety line, and Josh has got a safety line there. Go for We're it. Sure. Oh. Right there. So I just went to bring in a bit more Genoa. So Josh is on starboard, releasing the Genoa sheet. Yep. Whoa. <laughs> we, we're gusting 45 knots, so I'll be measuring 45. It's getting up there, we're bashing into it. Anyway, the bloody wave just caught, I saw it coming, and I ducked to try and get it. And at the same time, the winch handle fell out of the winch and it went sprawling down the side of the hull. No. I was squirming out on my stomach after it. <laughs> I'm not losing that thing. <laughs> I'm too tight. Let the kayak go, we're not that the kayak kayak go. Go. Not the handle. Oh man. So, so what happened to your leg? Oh, that's when the rope caught. I was there yesterday. Just a rope, rope uh, whizzing out. Just whizzed out and just did a little shoo. And as I was, I must have just squirming down the Good effort, Rob. Josh will just as cool as a cucumber. Do it in the cucumber. Yeah. Uh, a lot of weather out. Is he wet or dry? I'm dry, I'm on the good side. Oh, okay, you're on the right side of things. Oh, yeah. The winds began to shift. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,